Art class? Hang on, I've got an idea. Herod, Herod, wake up! What are you doing? Get off! Oh, I'm sorry. Dreaming of something nice, like showing a bider back. What's that? I don't believe it. Herod, you idiot! Genuine lot of Shona by... Shona by the hair. Oh, thank you. Nice try. But I know you stole it from April. Child welfare are coming tomorrow. I told you to keep out of trouble, Herod. Hang on. You don't really think that I stole it, do you? Just whatever you do. Don't let Moon see this, OK? While well, Red chewed over his problems, Mia chewed over the gum from the crime scene. Not really chewed. That'd be disgusting. But in the gum was a tooth mark, and with the help of some plaster, Mia made a mould. It showed what the tooth that had bitten into the gum looked like. This was a criminal's molar, and it was chipped. Don't tell me. Spinach for lunch? I haven't had spinach for a week. Oh. Well, his tooth isn't chipped. Looks like you're in the clear. Like I told Red, someone must have put this in my coat. Pretend you never saw this. Too late. It's evidence now. Red's gonna kill me. He's at me enough as it is already. Hold on. Red told you not to say anything to me. Maybe he thought you'd nick it or something. Yeah, or something. So, it wasn't her who dropped the gum in the flower bed. <laughs> what about all this? Who would go to that much effort just to set him up? The person who threw his bag in the tree, I suppose. Well, looks sure enough. Hey! It's too thick. No one is here this greasy. You better not be talking about mine. This isn't human. No, it's Shona Biderbeck's. But what if her animal has long, straight hair? <laughs> Bless you. You should. I think I know where this came from. Mia loves horses, but there's just one small thing standing in between Mia and her dream, her allergy. So it came as no surprise that the hair April said was Shona Biderbeck's was exactly the <laughs> same as a horse's, a perfect match. The question is, who faked it? Gotcha. Hey, Ernie. Um, can you give me a... Get lost. I, I just wanted to ask. Dare you! Thanks a lot. Oh! Without Red, I was back to being the weird short kid no one talked to. Harry tells me you think he didn't do it. I always thought he was innocent. Yeah, right. The point is, I've got the evidence now. Everything's going to be fine. Yeah, now? But what about before? You could have broken up my family, Moon. You know I'd never let that happen. As long as it didn't come between you and your pledge to Bernstein. You asked me to tamper with evidence. That's the first thing of things not to do. There are more important things in your stupid badge, Moon. Look, I think I can prove who did all this, but I'm going to need your help. OK. You can have my help. But only because I want to nail whoever did this to Herod. It doesn't mean we're going to be partners again or anything. Deal? Deal. Start talking! I didn't steal it! So why would anyone want to make it look like you did? I don't know, but April's had it in for me for weeks. Said if I didn't stop mucking around in class, I'd regret it. Wasn't so difficult, was it? Pleasure doing business with you. The Pinks were into makeup, pop stars, and the occasional petty crime. What did they care if people mucked around in class? We had to follow April to find out. Mia's right. The Pinks do meet up here every day before school. Well, why would anyone choose to come here this early? It's not that early. I think you might find for most people it is. Where's Mia anyway? What's the use of a stakeout without a camera? What are they up to? Here's a thought. 
Let's go in there and find out. The gate's locked. I thought you were trying to go straight. Oh, it's my brother. better view. We're going up that tree. What? Come on then. Up. Sorry, down. Here, Red. It's all a cover. People think we're stupid. Only interested in that brain dead sick and sex shown by the I quite like her new single though. And it's so bad it's good, kinda way. But soon we'll get A's in every subject, enroll in the best universities, and finally run the country itself. What? Disruptive boys, we've now completed phase one. All easy targets have been successfully sent to prison. One more trip up from them, and they'll be out of our lives forever. If Half Moon had found that lock of hair, our first operation of Phase 2, Exclusions, would be over by now. But today, we must complete the mission ourselves and get Herod Sharkey excluded. Then finally, we can take aim at our ultimate target, the biggest known threat facing our empire. Half Moon. Wow, I'm that much of a threat. Steady on, hero. 